Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 48 in Azure Data Factory Real Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can copy data from REST API to ADLS Gen 2 using Data Factory. Uh, not only ADLS Gen 2, you can copy into SQL or you can copy into any other uh, data storage which supports as a sync in the copy activity. The only difference will be depending upon your sync type, you will be creating your data set. Other than that, all the functionality, whatever we are going to discuss now, it's going to be exactly same. Let me practically show you this. So to show you that, let me show there is one REST API, this one. This API will get some data uh, with a uh, uh, list of users. It's a dummy API. When you issue a GET request, it will give you some data. Let me practically show you this API first. So let me copy this URL from my browser and then let me go to browser and let me hit this URL. So that means we are issuing a GET request here. And if you see here, we are getting like page per page, total pages, total, and then we have a data array in which we have ID, email ID, first name, last name, author clip or author image, right? So let's assume this is the data, this is the data which I want to copy. Let's assume this is user's information. I want to copy this into ADLS Gen 2 file. How to do that using Data Factory? So there is something called copy activity using copy activity we know that so if you don't know what is copy activity please watch my data factory playlist not real time scenarios playlist in the data factory playlist i have already explained it so even if you don't know uh, when we are progressing this video you will make sense of it let me open one data factory this adf mahir and uh, let me hit this launch studio button to open this data factory in data factory studio here so here data factory is loading once the data factory opens we will navigate to this author menu and here we will try to create a new pipeline and uh, let me name this new pipeline here under general properties let me name it like rest api pipeline that is the name of pipeline i want to give let me minimize these properties here and let me minimize these pipelines here and from the activities right now i am in rest api pipeline so here I am searching for a copy activity, copy data activity. I pasted it here. So this activity helps you copy data from any source to any sync, not any source and sync, the supported sources and syncs. If you, you can easily Google what is the supported sources and supported sync types for data factory copy activity, you will get a documentation link. So here under source, I should use my REST API because I want to copy data from my REST API. So let me create a new data set for this source here and here it's a REST API call. So I have to take a connector of REST here, hit continue and uh, you can name it like my API anything. Then linked service. Let's create a new linked service here. I am creating a linked service which is of type REST type here. Okay. So let me name it. Okay. Let me select new once again and let me name it my api linked service then here i am let me take this url and let me paste it my base url and then there is no authentication needed if your api is in real time has a authentication then use accordingly and let me hit this test connection to make sure i was able to i am able to successfully make a connection to api or not i am able to make a successful connection let me hit this create button to create this linked service. Once the linked service gets created, let me hit this OK button to create this data set as well. So you can see my data set created and it was selected under source tab of the copy activity. I can open my data set here and I can see right now I am under my data set under connections tab. I can see my linked service and also I can see my API URL also as a base URL. Let's go back to pipeline. So here we are we done with our source configuration. I can hit this preview data button as well here to preview the API response. 
it gets the page pay per page total everything but as i said i am concerned about only this data right this data array and every array should go as a one row into my csv file maybe on data lake storage gen2 so let me close this here and uh, and okay let me close this here for some reason i'm not able to close okay now navigate to sync so i want to copy it into adls gen2 as a file if you want to copy to some table you can do that as well so i am using a adls gen2 here i am hitting new data set here for the sync data set so i will be selecting gen2 connector if you want to copy to azure sql maybe then you can search for azure sql connector here so let me go to gen2 connector continue csv file as a csv file i want to copy maybe continue and then i can give a name like my api data file okay and then i have a linked service already created for one of my storage and if i open this it's pointing to adls mahir account okay and here let's browse for where to copy so under sample container uh, maybe here uh, let's click okay i am not selecting any folder i want to create a folder called users and then here users.csv so this is the file in which i want to copy so let's keep first to as a header and there is no file exist at this moment so i'm just selecting none because i don't want to import anything file itself is not there right so let me hit okay and now under sync we selected a data set that is pointing to gen2 and then uh, i can go to mappings so this is the important thing we have to make sure what mappings you want to import into your sync table or sync file so in my case i don't want this page per page total and all i am only concerned about this data array and i don't want this support and other things as well so how to tell that to data factory under mappings what i can do is i can hit this import schema first and uh, when the schema imported you can see it is taking page per page total this is the source side column this is the sync type side columns so i don't want all these columns i am removing it not only that i don't want this support i don't want the other columns as well but if you see here it is taking a data column but if you closely observe data field is a array and uh, in array at zeroth position this item we have and then at one position we have this item and at two position we have this item okay that is the index so now if you see the settings here here we are taking only zero index that means only one row will get copied so how to tell to adf to take all the items from array for that you have to select this collection reference here and once you select you delete all this whatever the uh, zero index items whatever it is coming here and then import the schema once again here so this time when you import a schema since you selected the collection reference you can clearly see the entire array is getting collection reference here that means it is getting flattened and all the rows will be copied but as i said i don't want this page per page total total pages and also i don't want this support so i want only this data array to be copied and every item should go as a one row so everything is done now let me hit this debug execute button to execute this code or to execute this pipeline with a copy activity and see whether we will be able to successfully copy data from our rest api to adls gen2 file maybe so here let's wait for the execution to complete here we can see pipeline execution successful let me go to azure portal under home menu this is the storage adls mahir and here let's try to examine whether we got our data copied or not so let me navigate to containers here under containers i should have a container called sample container so let's open the sample container here and i created a folder called users you can see folder is there and i have the users.csv file as well that means my data copied successfully i can even open the file and then i can hit this edit button to check whether my data copied or not you can see my data copied successfully this is the header and you can see all the rows copied successfully only okay so that's it in this video 
ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಹೌ ಟು ಕಾಪಿ ಡೇಟಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರೆಸ್ ಟಿ ಐ ಪೇ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಕೇಸ್ ಐ ಶೋನ್ ಜೆನ್ ಟು ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಈವನ್ ಸೀಕ್ವಲ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಬೆಲ್ ಐಕಾನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವ